You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received in Libya Palace today. His Royal the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highnesses discussed ways to reinforce financial and monetary policies in the kingdom to implement the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and support the national economy. They also viewed a number of initiatives that support financial stability, increase budget sources of income and sustain financial balance. His Royal the Prime Minister and His Royal the Crown Prince also noted the ongoing and future initiatives and programs set to overcome all challenges and guarantee the continuity of economic development. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Glebia Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The cabinet condemned the attempts of the terrorist Houthi militias to target two Saudi oil tankers in the Red Sea, which were thwarted by the Arab coalition's Navy forces. The cabinet described this cowardly attack as a terrorist escalation and a serious threat to the freedom of navigation, international shipping lines and trade across Bab El Mandeb Strait and the Red Sea, affirming Bahrain Bahrain's full support of Saudi Arabia in all measures it takes to protect its resources, security and stability. On the occasion of the World Day to combat trafficking in persons, the cabinet affirmed the government's keenness to continue its procedures that would make Bahrain free of internationally unacceptable inhumane practices and crimes. It also affirmed Bahrain's cooperation with the international community to combat all forms of trafficking in persons and raise awareness in societies about human rights.
The cabinet reviewed the memorandum of the coordination committee led by His Rohanis uh, Crown Prince on the second package of the project to re-engineer government processes called engineering. The project is part of the government's high priority programs. With a total of 28 services, the project aims to enhance the level of governmental services in accordance with the aspirations of the citizens and residents. His Rohanis, the Prime Minister, directed to commence re-engineering the third package of governmental services to further simplify them. His Rohanis hailed the efforts of His Rohanis the Crown Prince through the coordination committee to complete the engineering project. In cooperation with the Civil Services Bureau. The Canada discussed the requirements, regulations and criteria for disabilities that mandate two paid hours break daily for employees with disabilities or employees caring for people with first-degree relatives according to the law on the care, rehabilitation and employment of people with disabilities. The Canada reviewed the recommendation of the Ministerial Committee for Social Services, Communication and Media presented by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The Canada decided to refer the recommendations to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. Then the cabinet approved to allow companies with foreign capital to carry out towing and extension services by 100 percent. The decision will allow international companies to exercise, invest and own companies in this field in light of the recommendation presented by Deputy Prime Minister, Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Financial Affairs and rationalizing expenditures, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The cabinet also drafted or rather approved the draft security agreement between the states of the Arab League, which aims at increasing mutual cooperation to ensure the prevention of various types of crimes and the process of perpetrators and the exchange of information and experiences that will contribute to preventing and combating crime of various forms. Education Minister Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi participated in the ministerial summit in Cairo, Egypt, entitled Creativity Summit in the Middle East and North Africa MENA Region 2018, in the presence of ministers and officials in the region. The minister gave a presentation at the summit in which he highlighted the kingdom's advanced experience in using information and communication technology in education development, particularly after the launch of His Majesty seeking Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's future school scheme in governmental schools since 2005. The project's success ushered in the next phase of further development by digitalization and education that contributed to achievement of success stories in the field of innovation and education, pointing out that the regional ICT center was established in Bahrain in association with the UNESCO. In his presentation, Dr. Naimi explained that Bahrain won the fourth place in the UN's Global E-Government Index report for the unpresented deployment of mobile and internet services. He stated that Bahrain ranked first among Arab countries and 31st international in the World Telecommunications Index Survey, WTIS 2017, According to the International Telecommunications Union, the ITU Global Report, adding that Bahrain also ranked second among Arab countries and 31st globally among 138 countries within the Global Competitiveness Report 2017-2018 regarding ICT infrastructure readiness. The minister said that Bahrain has advanced in the school's Internet Accessibility Index and scaled from 45th to 36th ranking in 2017. The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, deputized the Chief of Public Security, Major General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan, to attend the ceremony held by the General Directorate of Investigation and Criminal Evidence on the occasion of the World Day Against Trafficking in Persons, where he was received by the Directorate's Director General. Major General Al Hassan congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Rohanis the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Rohanis the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the Kingdom's achievement in combating trafficking in persons of upgrading to Tier 1 status in the U.S. State Department's 2018 Trafficking in Persons TIP report as the first country in the Middle East and North Africa to receive this rating. Major General Al Hassan hailed the outstanding efforts of His Rohanis the Crown Prince and his keenness on developing this field and gaining this international advanced status. The Chief of Public Security expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Interior for the support the Directorate receives, noting the Minister's keenness on increasing the effectiveness of police performance, which contributed to the local and international achievements the Ministry made. Major General Hassan stated that the Ministry of Interior's achievements in the trafficking in persons field was a result of 10 years of work. He asserted the necessity for enhancing community partnership and communication with all related authorities. The Director General of Investigation and Criminal Evidence delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Interior for his continuous support to the Directorate's efforts of combating crime, in particular the trafficking in person. He noted that the high rating the Kingdom achieved as a result of the efforts of various related authorities. The Chief of Public Security was briefed on the means of developing the employee's skills and abilities and the measures taken to address cases and reports. Major General Hassan honored a number of officers and excellent individuals in the Public Morals and Anti-Trafficking Department for their efforts wishing them success in serving the country. 
An implementation of the directives of His Royal the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 housing units in the framework of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa were issued in Ramadan to attend the needs of citizens and in following up on the government's efforts led by His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Housing affirms that it continues receiving a new batch of Salman Town beneficiaries. The ministry stated that it has contacted the project's beneficiaries to go to the ministry and finish all procedures. It added that the ministry staff gave a presentation on legal and technical instructions regarding housing contracts. The ministry noted that the distribution of more than 2,800 housing units will go on in consecutive batches until the end of August. Salman City Housing Projects is one of the main projects of the ministry to build and distribute 40,000 housing units in the time frame set according to the directives of His Majesty the King. Members of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and This is Bahrain were invited to the Islamic Culture Center of Madrid as part of their official visit. More in this report with our correspondent, Shulga Mohammed. A delegation from the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and This is Bahrain were invited to the Islamic Cultural Center and Mosque of Madrid where they met with the Imam and engaged in an official tour. Established in 1992, the center is considered to be the biggest Islamic cultural institution in Spain. It has since become the House of Islam in Madrid and is frequented by thousands of Muslims and non-Muslims alike who are attracted by its special minarets, one of the two that exist in Spain. This center uh, shows the world that uh, Spain enjoys the freedom of religion. Uh, Muslims here are uh, well, uh, you know, uh, uh, given the right of, of, of worship and uh, 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 there, are, there are more than 5,000 uh, uh, pe people who are uh, praying here every week for, for Jum'ah and uh, uh, during the months of holy months of Ramadan and other months uh, the center uh, exercise its best uh, uh, in worship and in the relationship between them. So as I said earlier, it is, it is the uh, symbol of uh, freedom, uh, uh, of uh, religions and worship. The mosque is the largest in Spain and the complex is distributed over six floors and includes a school, a library, two exhibition halls, a museum, an auditorium and a gym. Both sides were very pleased with the visits and the Muslim community in Madrid learned a lot about the Kingdom of Bahrain and His Majesty the King's stances in regards to religious freedom and peaceful coexistence. Well, it's a wonderful centre actually. Very impressive to see that um, in the Kingdom of Spain, as in the Kingdom of Bahrain, that all different religions and faith groups are catered for. And in this Islamic centre, um, we have seen many wonderful examples um, of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's philosophy in action. As you see behind me, we have the, the pillars of Islam, which are of course written in Arabic, but also in English and in Spanish. Because as His Majesty the King says, ignorance is the enemy of peace and it's wonderful to find that the pillars of Islam and uh, the studies of the Quran and the studies relating to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him are here in this wonderful city of Madrid. It was an exciting meeting. I was amazed by the well organization and the large turnout from different religious groups. I regard this as a significant humanitarian service for the aim of coexistence that shall have a positive outcome for the Middle East especially by delivering an image of tolerance, cooperation and peaceful coexistence. We would like to thank the Kingdom of Bahrain for these efforts, as well as the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, along with the This is Bahrain organization. And I would like to reiterate my thanks for their invitation to be a contributor to this conference. The presence of a massive Islamic cultural center in the middle of Madrid is a symbol of religious diversity and freedom exhibited in the country, which is a reflection of the peaceful coexistence present in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogh Mohammed.